Hey everyone, it's Marco here from XDA. And if you're running a rooted Android device, chances are you're running a custom theme of some sort. So in today's video, I'll be bringing you my top five CM or sign engine mod themes for your Android device. Let us begin. Coming in with a bang, we have GRVY or Gravy or Groovy. Take your pick, however you want to say it, but it's by the artist Yeah Design. And as you can see straight away, this man is not holding back any punches with this bold and in-your-face setup. From the fonts alone, you can tell that this isn't a theme your grandma is going to be using. All the main apps from, say, your phone to your WhatsApp have been completely redesigned, all with the same impact, which might be a bit too much for some. But if you're just sick of seeing those same slim, elegant themes, then this theme is for you. Moving on, that status bar is just pure perfection using the same fonts and adding unique icons that flow throughout the whole theme, even that navigation bar getting that same thick treatment. The wallpapers also help complement the city ghetto grunge-like setup as there are truly some keepers over here. Your sounds also receive an upgrade with a new notification tone and ringtone, which are pretty great and pretty intense. The theme also boasts full Arca support, which if you don't know by now allows you to change some colors as well as wallpapers. So you can say go from gray to blue to even lime green with ease. It's truly a fantastic theme if you're in the mood for something a little different. Next up we have Outray by the artist Colwork. And if you know that name then you know that this theme is going to be good. The theme is more on the minimal side, opting for clean icons and fonts which can be seen in the brilliant quick settings menu, your standard settings menu, and even in the many supported apps such as Hangouts and the Play Store. I love the cleanliness of the keyboard, the minimal soft keys, and even its tasteful sounds that all come with the theme. Colwork has done an amazing job with the wallpapers, both on your home screen and lock screen. And when you realize that the theme also comes with Arca support, which easily allows you to change your system colors as well as the wallpapers, your customization gets bumped up into a whole new level. I simply love how much attention to detail this guy puts into his work. And this theme is no exception. And I definitely recommend you go and try it out today. Next is XOUI by Nico Soria. And man, I've missed this guy. He just makes anything he designs look incredible. And this one is one of his best designs yet. Clean and modern best describe this dark professional theme. He also leaves nothing out, so if you're a fan of dark themes, then this one has got to be on your list. The font choices are pure class, and when combined with the clean and simple icons, those wallpapers that look like they've just come straight out of an unsplash setup, and even those gradiented lines in the headers, it all comes together in something that you'd expect from a premium theme. Yes, it has Arca support, so you get to choose between frost and heat or blue and red themes that both look incredible. I also really enjoy the status bar and the navigation bar, and I'll never get tired of those option indicators. Man, those look awesome. But it's the way that this man can customize an incredible amount of apps as well that really sets this theme apart, with even Spotify not being able to escape his design clutches. Really an impressive theme and hopefully we get to see more from Nico in the future. Moving on to number four, we have Minty by Daniel Scott. And if you're looking for a lighter theme, then this one is for you. Judging by the title, you're going to have to be a fan of green, but to be honest, I'm cool with that. There's something about the color that just adds to the overall calmness of the whole setup. From its camphored edges and some of the menus to its minimal option indicators, everything just looks neat and simple and clutter free. I also really enjoy those wireframe icons as you don't really see those too often these days, which also adds to its minimal design. It too comes with Arca support, which not as fleshed out as the others, it still looks handy nonetheless. Overall, a great theme that'll give your phone a clean and fresh new feel. And lastly, we have Lines by B16H22. Not too sure where this guy got his designer name from, but this is another incredibly clean theme that makes all the right changes in all the right places. It gives color where color is due, but never feels too messy. The system icons are all simple, with a few exceptions like airplane mode, just to mix it up a bit. And even though it doesn't come with Arca support, I still find myself enjoying all of its little quirks. The wallpaper has a unique textured quality to it, the font is clean and elegant, and those 40 or so themed icons just also help with adding some variety to your phone. The vivid orange in the settings might be a bit too bold for some, but I quite enjoy it. Your keyboard and quite a few other apps also receive the lines treatments, 
with even the power menu getting some tweaking. Overall, a really fun yet modern theme that I really think will look great on your phone. So that wraps up today's video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I'd like to know what custom theme you're running, so let me know what it is in the comment section below. Other than that, it's Marco here from XDA, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.